this video, I'd like to share with you my preferred LRGB processing workflow. In the past, I've talked about the fact that I'm a fan of having separate luminance versus color processing paths, and I also like to embrace starless workflows. I find that LRGB data lends itself very naturally to this. The luminance channel is broadband and it captures all of the energy across the RGB spectrum. And as such, it's a great foundation for the luminance processing that we want to do. With the luminance image in the linear domain, we'll do what you would normally expect to do. We'll do cropping, we'll do uh, gradient removal with DBE, we'll do a little bit of noise reduction just to knock the fizz off. But this is also the place where we're going to run deconvolution. This is the channel we're using to emphasize detail and sharpness. It would make sense that we would do that here. In the case of the RGB channels, in a linear domain, we'll do similar processing with the exception of deconvolution. We'll combine them into our first color image, and it'll be at this point that we'll do color calibration. I prefer to use the PCC tool or the SPCC tool to get as accurate a color as I can. At this point, the images will be brought into the nonlinear domain by doing uh, stretch. And I don't do a lot more processing until I go starless. So the luminance image will go starless and the RGB image will go starless. And more importantly, since we have RGB data, this is the place where I'm going to extract and have true RGB stars. At this point, we're going to go through and do our aggressive processing in the starless domain in order to bring out the best detail that we can uh, for the luminance image, the best color position and the smoothest noise position that we can for the RGB color image. We'll be combining these together to create the first LRGB starless image. And at this point, with a little bit more processing, we'll be ready to add, add our stars back in. RGB stars are natural looking stars because they're broadband captures. So our processing here is going to be focusing on star reduction and making sure that we like the color position that we, we've captured and, we, and how we represent those stars. Those are then folded into the final image. And at this point, we can do our polishing and our image is done and our workflow is complete.